Sister Wives Cody Brown was featured in Christine's wedding special because it's his show and he needed the paycheck. His show. It's interesting that this is now being labeled as Cody's show when Christine is the reason why he got the show in the first place. If you read the book, the different producers were coming to Christine about doing a show. And Cody, because no one was coming to him, told Christine that the next person that comes to her, just give him the information. But we're going to call this Cody's show. Okay, so this is an article from The Sun. Haven't read the whole thing. Just typed in a little bit, saw a little bit of it. And I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and comment on some things. Because one of the things that was very apparent in the wedding specials was that for some reason, they felt the need to include both Mary and Cody and Robin and I just feel like for her wedding special we did not need to see them but I very much so believe that production is trying to ensure that everyone I don't know gets a check mainly the bird and the bald eagle so Cody and his last standing wife Robin awkwardly made an appearance in his ex-wife's wedding special but it was for good reason. Now, I don't know if it was a good reason, but this is what this article is saying. This was written by uh, Diana Cooper on January 14th, 2024, okay? <sighs> I just, ugh. According to a source, he had a good reason why. Sister Wives is Cody's show. He is the head of the family, and in the beginning, he was head of the family's contract. So him being the man that he is, you know, the patriarch that he wants to be, he headed up the contract. I kind of wonder what the stipulations were in that contract. I know that it was put into the family pot, but I wonder how they dispersed that money because Robin very early on seemed to benefit from this money. He was the one who initiated the show. It will forever be his show. Say what? like an old man who didn't have too many cigarettes. <laughs> I don't understand why this article is saying he's the one who initiated the show and it will forever be his show. Um, I don't think so. I'm thinking that after these contracts are up, because we already know that they went from being under Cody Brown to now everybody has their own little separate things. But I feel like they're going to slowly but surely, if they're smart, kind of pull back a little bit from Cody. Because what does Cody and Robin really give us? Seriously, what do they provide to the show other than us detesting them? Now, I'm not saying that they need to be removed completely. I'm saying we can watch them every five episodes. <laughs> Cody 54 was part of the wedding special by appearing in a filmed interview with his last standing wife, Robin, who is 45. They, along with his ex, Mary Brown, were not invited to the wedding. Yet we know that we saw them in the special to the point where I was like, okay, if y'all are going to keep using this clip of Mary saying that she's happy for her and all that other stuff, you can at least switch it up a little bit because we heard the same exact verbiage, verbiage. I don't know how many times in regards to Christine and um, David from Mary. Now, apart from Sister Wives being his show, he needed a paycheck, a source claimed. This is his life and it's what's helping him pay the bills. That part I do agree with because at one point it was said that they were going to, I, I can't remember and y'all correct me down below, if they were going to pull the show or... Something along that lines because they took a significant pay decrease. They took a pay cut in order to keep the show. So he needs the show. 
even now more than before because his other wives unlike Cody and 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 his bird had other jobs they have other jobs currently now some of them we may consider to be pyramid schemes but they have other forms of income even Christine with her spinoff on Facebook and you know Janelle is is doing things with I think she's doing things with Plexus as well like they have other jobs and other sources of income but even Christine said it on the interview that she did most recently that she doesn't know what Cody does other than uh what we see him do on the show which is cut down trees and drive around a whole bunch he's going to keep filming as long as he needs to he's not going anywhere Cody breaks his silence Cody chimed in on his ex's nuptials to David 60 during the special. At one point, he revealed how he had found out about the wedding. I saw a wedding announcement at my sister's house. <laughs> I said it before. I know that Cody was hot. And I wish I could have seen what that looked like when he saw that announcement. So it was kind of curious to me that some of my family had been invited to the wedding, he told cameras, despite not getting an invite to the romantic ceremony that took place in Moab, Utah. Robin confessed that they were happy for them and she wants Christine, who is 51, to be happy. I don't really believe that Robin is truly happy for Christine. I think that that bird wanted for Christine to not succeed and to end up crawling back. I think that that bird didn't think that Christine was going to land on her feet the way that she has because the bird didn't really know Christine. Cody always tells us how they didn't take time to get to know Robin. They saw Robin for who she is, not what she said, and they didn't need to. We at this point know Robin. Robin is a user and she, she, took her, her time to navigate through this family, tear it apart, reap the benefits of having them, take the different forms of income that she could get from them, and she didn't think they would leave. She thought that they would be like Mary, where they would continue to be naive for even further, and she would still be able to enjoy that family pot that they actually have to keep spending money from. Because if they all at one point were getting the same form of income, how is it that Robin was the one with the million dollar house? And how is it that she had all the furnishings, even though they look tacky, and all the pictures and all those other things when they're pulling from the same pot? And when Robin is the one without a real job? Because Sister Wives Closet still isn't pulling anything. Is it even still working? I know the website is up, but do people still order off of that thing? Cody added, Christine said to our children, dad has his soulmate. I'm going to look for mine. And so I'm like, she says she found her soulmate and I'm happy for that fact. He later remarked, I hope Christine gets her great day with her wedding. So if she's doing something really wonderful, spectacular and beautiful and David's digging on her, then good for them. As I said in my last uh, review of that show who 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 is working with Cody who, <laughs> who is his publicist who is Cody's publicist who has been helping Cody with this because I do not recognize this man so, Christine and Cody split in 2021. Following their split, Mary and Janelle also announced that they had separated from him in December of 2022. <sighs> While season 18 aired late 2023, Christine's next chapter continued in the wedding special. And the second part aired the 14th, which we saw at this point. There have been no official announcements um, made regarding another season. However, there are some talks that they had been filming for another season, which supposedly uh, at one point have frustrated Gwen that her wedding became about the show um, and the two gentlemen meeting rather than her wedding. I don't know how true that is. It's just what's going on around. However, Christine seemingly confirmed season 18 in an interview where she said viewers will have to wait to watch next season to see her reunited with Cody and Robin in the same room. I believe that is going to be the wedding. I think that's Gwen's wedding. A source told us, I think that what they're going to do is take a small pause from filming before they start up again. I want to know who that source is. 
Like how close is the source to the family and what part of the family is she close to that she's getting this information or he's getting this information from. Then they're just going to keep going because their momentum is just so high right now that they want to make sure that they can capture everything. Their, momo their momentum is high right now because of the OG3. It has nothing to do with the bird or the bald eagle. It has everything to do with those three women who held up that family for years, allowing Cody to shine when it was not Cody who was doing it. Cody reaped the benefits of them and so did that bird. The source went on to say that Cody doesn't want to lose his show. So he's going to find any way to keep filming with Christine despite living in separate states and still having anger built up. I don't understand why Cody still has anger built up. If he needs to be angry at anyone, if this article is true, he needs to be angry at himself because he's the reason why his family is dismantled. The source alleged that Christine is part of a sister wives umbrella together or not. And therefore Cody has a say whether he lets her out of it or not. Now that part, I don't believe. I do believe at one point they probably signed contracts as a family. This is why it's kind of important for each person to sign their own so they're not looped in with this whole group. But I doubt that they sold their soul to TLC. I would think that maybe after a couple years, every every couple years that they have to renew. So I'm sure that at some point, Christine isn't going to have to be tied to him. She's already not. They've already separated the, some of this income distribution. So she's already making her way away from, from Cody. They are somewhat forced to remain in each other's lives since their TLC contracts place uh, to, firm, uh, to film another season. Okay. So the, according to that, they're supposed to film another uh, season. During the wedding special, Cody admitted, just because I've been angry for three years doesn't mean I can't be happy for David and Christine. With Christine and his other two wives separating from him, his feelings were brought to light in season 18 as well as the tension it caused with Robin. I do feel like it caused certain tension with Robin, but I do not feel like it caused it to the degree that we're seeing it. I think that they're doing this because it is a way for them to have something to film for next season because without this, what else are we going to see? We have limited access to that messy home that she has. We have limited access to the inside of it. They're still filming outside, acting like the reason is because of the pandemic when they've been all over the place without masks and all these other things. So what will they show us? Them cutting down more trees, perfectly fine trees that aren't bothering anybody. Is that what they're going to show us? I, I just, I don't, they don't have anything else but to make it seem like things are so bad between them. A source shared, um, he's still pretty angry and he's still very different. I'm starting to feel like this source is coming from Cody, that this is also a way to keep the buzz going around and to get people to talk about Cody, much like what I'm doing now, because even though he makes us mad and he pisses us off, Cody does give us something to talk about. People are going to downplay it and say that Robin's being dramatic, but she's not. He's still finding his way back to some kind of joy. That's definitely coming from somebody on their side. The people who talk like that are Robin and Cody, the bird and the bald eagle, Noodlehead, Ramen Noodlehead, as y'all call them, and Nike Check. Those are the, the, the two people who speak like that. So this source is somebody who's close to them. I wouldn't be surprised if the source is them themselves. As for Robin and Cody, they're not really happy, the source claimed. They don't have the same life they had before. Oh, maybe they don't have the same life that they had before because their money has decreased by three. That's my thoughts. Because they should be happier. He was spending all his time with her anyway. So now you don't even have to fake. You could just go straight to the one that you love. You know, your soulmate. They used to love. They're used to love and friends and family and all that joy. And now they don't really have it because Robin wasn't joy. If you look back at the episodes, Robin to me has always seemed dull. The only person who was like that hyper person, and even Janelle said it, that that Christine brought a lot of joy to the family. The kids said it. That's why the kids, the kids gravitate to her the way they did. Even at times, Mary to them was fun. Robin was not labeled as the fun one. She looks miserable. They just have their little circle right now. With as much family as they have, 
both Cody and Robin, why is their circle so small? Is it because they're not doing their part? Is it because they're not reaching out? They're not being the loving parents that the both of them claim to be? For now, there's a lot more work that needs to be done to fix it, which is why the source said that they're focusing on their own relationship and not seeking a new sister wife at the moment. No, what they're doing is they're trying to make TV, number one. Number two, you're trying. why would they try to seek a sister wife when Cody just sat here on TV and said that he doesn't think it would be fair to the next woman if he were to have another sister wife because he would have to admit that he's in love with someone else and basically the next wife would be living in that person's shadow. And he's not really serving God anymore because it's all broken. He feels that he failed. I don't think Cody was really serving his religion in the first place. Can't speak too much about his relationship with God. I'm not going to do that. I'm not one to judge. But based on what we're told about some of their doctrines and things of that nature and what I'm currently reading in another polygamous book, there's a lot of things that we've seen with this family that has not been done correctly, which is one of the reasons why it is the way that it is and it's been dismantled the way it is. Cody was supposed to be the head and he was supposed to act in a manner that aligned with what God wanted for the family, but he didn't do it because he was self-serving. And according to what I've been reading in this other book, that's not how he's supposed to be. He's supposed to think about the family as a whole, but he didn't think about the family as a whole. Nikki, oh, that's it. That's the end of the article. Um... I do not feel bad for Cody. I very much so feel like they are doing this. I feel like Cody or Robin, and y'all tell me what you think down below. I feel like Cody and Robin, one of the two of them, released this information to the sun. I feel like they're the source. I feel like they're trying to give off this narrative that they aren't happy and that they're struggling because it gives them something else to film on the, the show. I will not be surprised if this is what they give us next season and it's drawn out. I will not be surprised if they then end up towards the end having a commitment ceremony because they're going to want to try to upstage Christine and David in some way. And I will not be surprised if they expect for TLC to pay for it because Cody and Robin are leeches. I feel like they very much so are struggling. I feel like uh, one of them needs to get a real job, a job other than this, because it's not going to pay the bills with the way that they like to spend, as well as the cost of their home. Their money is going to decrease substantially. And what they before were able to get away with because it was thrown in the family pot is no longer a family pot. The family pot consists of two people. I would like for TLC to reduce their role. I would also like for TLC to reduce the other adults' role, if I'm being completely honest. I want this show to turn into them kind of following the kids and having the parents be more in the background. Yes, I want to see what comes for the other OG3 ladies. I want to see them move on and be happy and live their lives. But I also want to kind of see more about the kids. The way that I was smiling and laughing during the wedding ceremony was because we saw a lot of the OG 13 and we connected to those various kids in different ways. So to see them now as adults with their own families, with their own careers, if they're willing to do it, give them some money and follow them a little bit. It doesn't even have to be where they do it the whole season. They could do a, a two episode special on each, on each kid and that alone would carry you through a season or two. I just want to see it evolve. I think that the Sister Wives, I wanted to see it continue. I do like the show, but I want to see less and less of the bird and the bald eagle as time goes on. You all, please like the video. It helps me in the algorithm. Comment down below. If there's something that I did not mention that you want to talk about, feel free to put it in the comment section. I will respond. And if I don't, someone else will. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. I know I've hit the thousand subscriber mark and I know I seem greedy, but I want more. <laughs> I do. I'm not going to lie. I want more. Until next time.